Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel, Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. And if this is your first visit, I hope you'll come back and see me again real soon. What is it I have to share with you today? Well, as you can see, I'm in my mini-verse kitchen, so I'm going to play with some more mini-verse. Say hello, Abby. Hello, everybody. All right. Boy, Abby sounds like me. Um, so, here we go. Today, I wanted to do another lifestyle uh, mini verse, make it mini lifestyle series one. I'm really hoping for a pet or at least not the same cactus. Uh, but first, before I open this up, I want to show you something. And that is going to require me to move the camera around a bit, so I apologize. Um, I have taken, if I can see it, if I can get it, um, I have taken some of the bags from the capsules and I have put stir stick around it to make frames and I've made artwork for the walls. There's that side. I can't tell if you can see. Let me turn it this way so I can see. And there is this side. So, um, sorry. So, um, that's why I'm careful to open the bags. I'm going to make some more of those and put around my kitchen and, like, uh, switch it out for holidays and things such as that. All right, let's get things back in place there. Anyway, so, um, I was going to, to decorate with those because I think that the artwork is so cute that we should do something with it and not, you know, just throw it in the landfill. And it gives us one more bit of playability that way. I also took the question mark from the kitchen, the question mark bag, and I'm putting my uh, lifestyle um, recipes in it. So I can keep the recipe box here just for food. So anyways, let's get started. Oh, and right there in the back, you may be able to see what I was talking about, about putting that capsule shelf from Lifestyles and putting food on it. I put my pie up there. All right, now let's just, let's just get into the capsule and see what we have. Hopefully we have a pet. I don't know. I got whatever was purchased for me by my family. And they don't know about weights and all of that. And I don't have a little scale to do grams. Of. But I might get one. And don't know how the... If I can get to the store and, you know, with a list and a scale. So that I can get some of the ones I want. Um, I don't know how the store will... Ouch. I just poked myself in the thumb. I don't know how the store will look upon that. The management. They might, they might be a little mad if I'm their way in capsules but it's better than you know trying to open them like people did at Christmas time I only heard about it I didn't get to see it because my stores didn't have the Christmas capsules so I had to get mine off of the internet be careful opening your capsules <laughs> I bloodied my thumb. Alright. This thing is pretty sharp. It might have come from Dollar Tree, but it ain't no joke. Alright, let's open this one up. And I'm getting blood on it. Hang on. Well, we have some... Pumpkin? Oh, hey, I think we got candles. It says beeswax, sunny beeswax pumpkin. And, you know, I love everything pumpkin, so I know it's not actually scented pumpkin, but I don't care. It still says pumpkin on it. Yes, I'm excited. I didn't get the same plant. <laughs> so, anyways, have a sunny day. So we could make a picture out of it. Here's some of that newsprint paper or something. I don't know what's on it. No, just wax paper. You can use it to work on. Here's our little tray. We 
can use that to work on and not make a big mess or to line a tray with or something so put that away with our coasters and our wax papers down there we don't need all this paperwork there's a nozzle we don't need all this paperwork we already cut up one of these and so we'll get our our recipe out in a minute here's our ooh, look our box that I think has our candle uh, jars in it oh look how sweet It's got little filler paper in there so it doesn't rattle around and break. That's a cute detail. It says many on the jars. Two of them. So they will be going on our little tray. Here's our tweezer. And our, our bottom for our stand, our shelf. They've changed the little feet on the shelf, and I wonder if it's not because these don't want to stay on too well. I have a chihuahua snoring in the background, if you can hear him. See? I keep thinking I have it on, and it keeps popping right back off. <sighs> Finally. Put their shelf on, and my shelf has blood on it. Again, because I poked my thumb. All right. Sit that up there. Yeah, that's going to look cute. Let's see if you can see it. Two of them up there now. Alright, so here's our tweezers and our... I decided that these are good to put things like sprinkles and things in, but I don't know what else I can use them for. I have to figure that out in the future. Snoring doggo. Right, I think I might make a picture out of this one. I do like this bag. And it's the only bag in this one. And it will be our wicks. Look at these guys. Look at the packaging. Look at the little wicks in there. I mean, they really go all out for the experience. Oh, I don't want to... Let's see if I can cut it open without ruining the packaging. Let me see if I can get this out. I'm trying to get it out without tearing up the packaging because I really like the packaging. But I'm not seeing how to get this out without damaging the package worse. And I already have. I couldn't get it out because it's got, um, it's held in there with other plastic. I tried so hard would have been better if I would have just gone ahead and pulled it off and then I could have glued it back on. But no, I tried to be clever and open it in the back and that didn't work out. So hopefully we get candles again and we can keep the package from the wicks. Don't ask why, because I like all the packaging. I think the tiny cuteness, I like the tiny cuteness. Set our scissors aside for the moment. Set our box up here. All right. Well, we're going to work on our mat down here because I don't have a table at the moment. Twist that open and start putting our. You can see it a little bit in there. And start squeezing our. Whoops. Nope. We don't want to do that before we put the wicks in, do we? Got to set the wicks in. Try to center them the best we can. Okay, I'm going to put a dab of resin in the bottom so that our wicks have something to stick to. I could see me shaking it down like that and have resin come flying out. All right, let me get our tool that we use to get resin out because this isn't working out. It's because I'm not strong enough to squeeze it. I just want a, a drop down in there. Now, I know that some people have not had enough resin, 
So we are going to go back and forth between the jars to try to make sure that they both have enough resin. Now these are supposed to be pumpkin spice, and I don't know if you can see, the resin is pretty pale. I would really like it, oops, if it was a little more, um, a little more orange, a little more of a burnt orange color, spicy, you know, orangey brown. That's just me being nitpicky. Oh, I got a drip. I got a drip. Let's try to get a drip in the other one. Come on. I'm going to set it upside down for just a moment. Let's look at the details on this little box. What does it say? You glow. I don't know if you can read it. It says it all the way around. It's sunshine candle company on the lid. It's really cute. Get a drip in this one. Come on, come on, come on. You're, you're, you're doing it. Well, we wait again. We just can't squeeze it hard enough. I don't even have enough to cover the bottom of the wick. The metal disc on the bottom of the wick. I don't know if I have enough to do anything with these candles. I don't know guys. That would be an absolute shame and a complete ripoff. I'm going to put it upside down. I mean, I'm not even bothering with the nozzle because what's the point when you can't get it out anyways? Uh, what do we have that we can... Didn't we already use this? Make it white. Use it as a colorant and use clear UV resin to but I really didn't want white, I want orange. What if we took a dab of the glaze, maybe? It's kind of got a honey color to it. Let's see what we can do. We might have to add a little of this, a little of that, to try to get kind of an orangey color. See, I'm just mixing it together and trying to get a little bit of that same color that's in the... Let's see what we can do with it. Some in both. I didn't mix enough. But we may be able to add it to what we can get out of the bottle and get enough. Maybe, maybe. Or we may have to mix up a little more. We've had this sitting upside down, so hopefully we can get some more out of it. Oh, I think that might be it, guys. Oh wait, here's a drip. Here's a drip. Try to get a drip in this side. Oh, come on. Boy, oh boy. Still not enough to call it done. Mixing it to try to get the collar to be kind of e an even collar. All right. We're going to try and add more of this using our white chocolate. I guess it's a white chocolate pumpkin candle. I'm dumping it, I'm dumping it. More glaze from our turkey. It's a good thing I bought that. Because I had seen other people struggling to get enough resin to do some of their projects. Right, stir that all together. Mixy, mixy. And we will have to mix this all together. So we try to get an even collar. Whatever we get this time is what we're getting. So I'm not going to use up all my vanilla or white chocolate. You know what I mean? Vanilla frosting, white chocolate, candle wax, a little bit of everything. Try to get all of it we can get. All right. I did get, however, one of those flashlights and I need it because otherwise our um, our wicks are going to be off to the side. All right, I'm going to go get that um, lamp and I'll, that torch and I'll be right back. Or, you know, flashlight, whatever. All right, so here is our new flashlight, UV flashlight. Oops, there's a bubble. Let me get it. It has come to the surface while we were waiting for the putting the batteries in and big ugly bubble but it's having a hard time popping okay 
Let me try to hold this in the center and set it. Boy, that goes fast. All right, let's try to get this one in the center, and then we're going to put it in our oven for a longer set. Because I don't want to hold it. Oops. Is it too late? Probably. Let's just leave it alone. All right, guys, we can turn that off. Hey, hey, I'm becoming almost a professional here with all the tools. All right, let me put it in the oven and clean up our mess while it's cooking, and then we will look at them. I got them nice and full by doing that, so... That's my suggestion for you. If you're going to do these, then definitely, definitely get yourself some clear UV resin. And you can get it pretty inexpensively off of Amazon. And get yourself um, uh, one of these. I paid $7. Here's the box. Hopefully you can see it because I know the light is actually behind it. It says L-E ever. Hopefully you can see that. Like I said, I know the light's actually, you know, behind us. Get yourself a Dollar Tree Cricut tool, pokey tool. Get yourself some cheap yet, okay, cheap as in inexpensive, but not cheap as in you don't want the bristles falling out in your project, paint brushes. And some of these, um, Tools, they usually sell them for doing like acrylic nails or whatever. Um, I think I found mine by putting in nail art or something. I am going to keep this because there may be some in it. I just couldn't get it out. So I am going to keep it on my shelf somewhere. And I suggest you get a nice sharp pair of scissors. These came off of Timu. And um, they have a nice cover on them so it doesn't puncture anything. And look, it's really sharp and small. Uh, what else do I suggest? I suggest toothpicks. And you can get two of these from Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, I suggest an X-Acto knife, but I couldn't get mine open. Um, you might want some of these little small baggies off of Timu. Think of them as uh, Barbie-sized gallons of blocks. For some of your stuff, you definitely want some alcohol preps and maybe a bottle of rubbing alcohol. And I suggest, uh, because you can get these for an, more inexpensive than you can, the little squares with the little things. Um, I have these jars, and I bought them in a box of, I don't know how many is in there, 20 or so. And they have a cork, so you can put your extras in there. Um, like, I have my... Um, extra rocks or no what is this my extra marshmallows in one i have my rocks in one sorry i'm knocking things down this hand doesn't work real well it's um very painful but yet numb at the same time how something can be that painful and numb is beyond me um and it's very clunky and un unwieldy um so anyways, those are some of the things that I suggest that you get. Oh, yes, and, and some good tweezers because you don't want to um, have to rely on the tongs that come with it. Those are, and it's not even that expensive to get these things. You can get most of it on, yes, Amazon, but you can get it on Timu. It only takes about 10 days to get it, and um, it's less expensive than Amazon. So whichever you prefer. And um, I suggest that you keep these little things from your tweezers because it's good for pouring resin in or mixing resin in if you need to mix it. Um, if you really want to get in deep, then maybe get some colorant for your, res your UV resin. 
um, in case you need to color a batch like I needed to do with this. It would have been better. I ordered colorant, but it hasn't come yet. And I, you know, I didn't know, so I didn't wait because I didn't know I was going to have that trouble. But I came up with pretty much the same color by mixing the, um, mixing the uh, white chocolate with the glaze and, um, you know, the glaze from the turkey. So not like the clear glaze or white glaze, the more honey colored glaze and um, clear resin. So I was able to approximate the color pretty well. Okay, so I cleaned my little paintbrush with a alcohol wipe and I'll put the protector back on it. I mean, it's going to stay sticky because no way we're going to get it all out. You could even clean it off your toothpick and reuse your toothpick if you really wanted to. If you, you know, wanted to make them last as long as possible to really cut down on your expenses. Um, this still has quite a bit of resin on it, but I'm going to go ahead and clean it off. I could have gotten more in my candle if I'd have realized I had that much left. I'm going to use another alcohol prep to clean everything once again. Use the dirty one to clean this sticky sticky off. So I can use the clean one to get it better. I usually use two or three to try to, you know, unstickify my stuff. The worst is getting it off of the silicone mat. You could peel it off if you set it and dried it, but I always try to wipe it off and then it because it's silicone it stays sticky anyways so and this little thing I think I might try to wipe it off of here because I could use this to mix colors again because it's a nice size but if I can't I can just throw it away it's not a big deal yeah I think it's just trash All right, one more alcohol prep to clean my fingers. You can get these at any pharmacy and they're not expensive at all. I get them um, with my diabetic testing su supplies. So I had quite a few extras, so I um, used those. But when I run out, I'll go to like CVS or Walgreens or someplace like that and get them. I think they're around a dollar and a quarter a box or something like that. They're really inexpensive. All right. Our, our candles shut off, so I'm going to get them out. But that gives you some ideas, guys. Oh, our candles need wiped off on the outside because I had sticky hands and I got it all over the outside. I don't know if this will unstickify it after it's been set, but we'll try it. They probably need set more than the five minutes. Close your oven, Michelle. They probably need cured more than the five minutes, but that's enough for showing it off to you. Mine are good and full because I mixed resin. Hopefully you can see that, that they're good and full. And the color is sort of more, I think, even more of a sort of beige color since I put the, um, the honey-colored glaze in there. I think that that worked. Here it is on its tray. Beautiful. Uh, where are we going to sit them? Are we going to sit them on the counter? I think we'll sit them on the counter of our kitchen. Can you see them up there? I don't know if you can. Let me get you over there. We're... Sorry, I have to tilt it because... Because I have it on the tripod. So hopefully you can see them there and you can again see where I set those up there, what I was talking about. I'm going to set a couple of them on that side. Might be able to get one in the center. Um, yeah, our pictures on the wall. 
on that side and on that side. And ugh, set our camera down and let's let Abby see your candles. What do you think of your candles, Abby? Good job. All right, guys, tell me what you think and give me that big old thumbs up because, you know, that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Sorry, we're moving you around a lot. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to show you the candles up close. Could have put sprinkles on the top or something but for this time i figured it was enough that we had to mix our own resin all right guys see you again soon Mwah.